Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode review of <clears throat> The Girl I Like Forgot Our Glasses, episode 10. So it's nearing it down now. Only a couple more episodes to go. But, um. But, uh, episode 10, another, 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 another fun episode. I mean, I cars, um. Another fun episode with, uh. Komura, you know, his. his mind and emotions just. Explode, just explodes, you know. <laughs> I mean, especially a couple, some, especially uh, two part, like in two parts of it, where it's about with the with um, uh, May's um, hair, you know. So, but um, with uh, with with uh, in the beginning of the episode where um, where May, you know, she was um, you know, wanting to uh, you know, whenever times she wants to, you know. Get up close in his face, so she can look at his face. Since whenever she doesn't have her glasses, like whatever she she wants to look at his face more. But um, when she when the, when she was walking away, one of her um, one of the, another one of their classmates now, named um, Somia is asking like, "Have you two kissed yet?" <laughs> and just that's one of the stars when when um when uh Komura's just his mind just explodes right when she's when she says, "Oh, have you kissed yet?" Like smooch. And he's like, "What?" And then we and then we cut to yet another shot where not there's not there's only one, but there's two planes uh, flying by. So like I said, there's been one or two times where it hasn't shown that though. But a lot of times when like stuff like that when that messes with Komura's mind, you, whatever you see, there's always a shot of, a, of the sky with a plane uh, flying fly, <clears throat> flying by. Yeah. So, but now there's one. There's two planes flying by this time. So it's just like his mind just double explodes. <laughs> so yeah, he does. She's asking. She, she just blatantly asks him, "Hey, have you two kissed yet?" And he's like, "Of course not." So then Mia is looking, and she gets a, like a like a misunderstanding, and because Komra, because with Komra, Komra, she doesn't want her to. to she thinking that she heard, maybe she heard that or not though. So he's pretending that he's sick. So. Yeah. So he's like, oh, you know, and then uh, May gives him a mask, and so he's wearing it like throughout most of the most of the, most of the day, and like May is getting a little bit suspicious, right? So when they're at gym class, I think she, I think she did that on purpose, where she just deliberately trips over a basketball. Since she doesn't have her glasses, like she kind of did that on purpose. I think she did that on purpose to just purposely trip over a basketball where she couldn't see it, and then she falls down and bumps her little her little head, right? So he has she has Komura take her to the nurse's office, and she's trying to get an explanation, you know, getting an explanation out of him, but um, but she wants to, or I'll say that hey, like if wherever I forget my glasses, just let me have a little up close to your face, you know, so I can see your face. So she he does, and then. This is what a couple of times where we're just, just talking about, you know, with with uh, May's hair because this time where she does have the next the next time we're in their class she does have her, she does have her glasses this time and she's like she's trying to pin her hair in a ponytail uh, drops her little the you know like the little thing you put your hair in a ponytail in a ponytail right the little um the little, um pin band uh ha hair band yeah hair band so. So she, so she wants uh, Komoro to, to like to put in a ponytail first, like kind of like kind of like brush, first brushing her hair out and then, then putting in a ponytail. And she's um, she's happy, you know, because at the beginning of the episode, watch I mentioned that she's been acting a little bit happy because of remembering that you know thinking that she might be special to Komoro. That's why she was acting a little happy in the episode in the beginning of this, and she's acting happy now. So, and just Komoro with his emotions, this is this is going into into overdrive, you know. Because she like his, she's like he like it how the way she's like in her, uh, her styling her hair like in a ponytail and he's brushing her hair and putting a ponytail and then the whole thing with her class with it with his other classmates saying that oh have you two kissed yet like his mind is just going way way into over is overloading right now and then when this is when after they're when they're finished cleaning the classroom um she's putting like the move the the the, the broom and dustpan away and her hair gets tangled up in the, like the little lock part of the of the locker and so Komura uh, points it out and she says here you got the you got the 
You got to cut that part of the, ha of the hair off for me. And now he has to cut a part of her, a piece of her hair off now. And so he's like, oh, cut her hair off, you know. Her hair is so pretty, you know. I didn't want to. He didn't want to do that though. So, but he he only cuts just a little bit off, or just only a little bit falls off of it, where he can't, can't even tell the difference. So, so she, he goes and cuts a little bit off of that. It's like it's all right, you know. And then, then, and then afterwards, they have the, they're set up the, they're setting up the uh, the cultural festival, and so like uh, Comer he's like uh, pasting some papers on another piece of paper, and and like uh, like um, Maggie is like she's like has like black stuff over her face on her on her hands, she wants to help him out, so, but she has to clean her hands right, and so she tries to glue it, but it dries up too quickly, so. It's like here, uh, Comer's like here. I'll glue it, and then you paste it, right? So he glues it, and then she takes the paper so fast, <laughs> she kind of has the paper on the other side, having stuck to her, stuck to her hands, like so. <laughs> so, I mean, it gets it gets some very very um, sweet, charming moments, like I said before, and then she wants to uh, when uh, um. When he takes her, when he takes his break, he, uh, she wants to talk to him. So like, they hide in this little art in the art room, right? There's nobody around, right? She deliberately, kind of deliberately, said that up because she wants to be alone with him. And once again, with his mind thinking, oh, what's gonna happen? Is she gonna kiss me now or what? And um, he doesn't know what's going on. So, like, he wants to leave, but she doesn't want him to leave. And. It's like you know all this oh, because she wants to see when once again she doesn't have her glasses this time now but um but she still wants to see his face up close but the whole thing, one of the things that one of the things that he's thinking of you think was she gonna this is all uh, she brought him to a, a to a room where no one is around so she can so she can kiss him <laughs> like it's the way his mind is working right it's just getting to, way into overload right now. But you know, she wanted to up. Um, I think I think uh, that's what I thought. I thought she was gonna she was gonna kiss him though. But she wanted to look at his face up close again. So. But um. And after that, they did, they just went back and then just help with just uh, help with the rest and um, basically it. So. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was a very uh, no, no fun episode. Like I said, innocence, charming episode. I mean, the whole fun, the whole fun bits with um, you know, the way his mind. Yeah, it started. It was starting to get a little dark, so I had to uh, turn on the light for you. So, um, but the whole the little funny bits, you know, with how just the idea that uh, that when the when the his class uh, some of the classmate just tells Comer, "Have you two kissed yet?" Yeah, and just mind just goes Poof, once again with the two planes flying by. <laughs> Whatever, whatever in his mind explodes like that, and the whole thing to with the felt uh, with the, with coat with the maze hair, just him just brushing and putting in a ponytail or cutting a piece of piece of a hair because got tangled. Oh, or the whole thing with the whole like, cut and paste thing. With her hands gets got stuck to her hands, and she was being like being in this happy mood, you know, because. She was reflecting that you know he may thinks of her as a special person to him. You know, that's why I was reflecting in the last in the last episode. That's why she was being a little in a, in a happy, good mood. You know, and but the times whenever she forgets to wear her glasses, she wants to look at his face up close so that she can see his what his face is. So, and then at the end, but uh, when they're in the when she deliberately puts them in an empty room, you know, where no one's there around. Him thinking that she might actually gonna kiss her, kiss him, but um, but no, uh, she just want to look at him again. But like, I thought, I think that she could, could, I think she missed her opportunity, you know. But maybe we'll see. Maybe the not, maybe the last two, you know. So, but um, but it was not another. It was another fun episode. I I enjoy. Like I said, once again, sweet, innocent, charming. Like I said, and um, now we just have just two more episodes to go, you know. So. I've been, I've been enjoying I've been enjoying this um this nice quiet series you know I mean it's not like a, like uh like uh 
as far as work romance romance comics go, I mean, Tomo Chen is still my the best one I've seen. But this was because it was it was I had more fun, I had more excitement to it. You know, I was having a lot of fun with the banter between uh, Tomo and June. You know, him they're always hitting each other and just and with with dealing with um with Tomo's friends with uh, with Carol and um, Mizuzu. I mean, I had a lot more fun with those characters, though, because it was a lot more—it was a lot more fun, you know. But here it was like a, an, it was, this whole series was a nice, like, quiet, fun, charming, sweet, innocent series, you know. You know, just just the, this guy who's this this mi middle school boy who just has this big crush on this girl he, who really does like, and uh, all the stuff they think he thinks about her, whatever is cute and all that stuff, though, she heard his his mind just explodes, you know. So cute, this and that, you know. <laughs> But yeah, but, I, but episode ten, I was it was another fun episode. I I liked. So anyway, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and we'll see you next time. Later.